Hey guys, it's Sam from the Business Classroom. Um, having a little bit of a celebration at the moment. Just sent off all my paperwork to the accountant to get the 2014-2015 uh, tax returns all done. So in Australia, our tax year goes from the 1st of July through to the 30th of June the following year. And it is really, really exciting. In my earlier business years, um, I would be lucky if I got it done before the cutoff date in October. And then I realized, you know what? Tax time doesn't need to be stressful. And today we're going to go through some quick tips and helpful advice to help you ensure that your tax time is stress-free, easy and out of the way. So tip number one is don't delay the inevitable. If you have it sitting on the to-do list, all it does is cause stress and you spend the whole time thinking about it and worrying about it. So the best thing to do is to get it off that to-do list ASAP. So instead of waiting until the cutoff period, again, that just adds stress, make sure it's the first thing out of the rank. Now, step number two is stay on top of your bookkeeping. If you can't um, do bookkeeping or you don't like doing bookkeeping, then outsource it. The amount of time you spend doing the bookkeeping, you could easily have someone else doing it for you and again, stress-free. So I like to every day just spend a couple of minutes uh, reconciling the accounts for the day and checking that my MyAlb is exactly the same as my bank account. Now the good thing about MyAlb and a couple of other banking uh, and accounting software is they integrate with each other. So that reduces the amount of data entry that you have to do. So step two is stay on top of your bookkeeping. So that's really, really important. So just to recap for those that are coming in now, step one to have tax stress-free is to get it off the to-do list. Get it done as soon as possible so you're not stressing about it. Step two is to do your bookkeeping regularly. So ideally you want to be doing it daily or weekly because the more you leave it build up, Again, the longer it's going to take and the more stress it's going to take during the year. And of course, if you don't do it all year, that's really, really stressful at tax time. Okay, so step number three is, guys, invest in accounting software. Their software like Wave is free um, and it in integrates with bank accounts. There's My, which is $29 a month. There is Zero, which is I think starts at $49 a month. It is the best investment that you can make. Get rid of that piece of paper file and get rid of that um, Excel spreadsheet. It really, really, this is one of my peeves is when business coaches say, just do it on Excel spreadsheet. You know what? That's adding time because it doesn't run your reports for you. It doesn't do anything menu, like automatically for you. So that's just adding time and stress to your day. And if you're not a bookkeeper, you know, old school, you know, using pen and paper or using spreadsheets, it can be a lot more stressful. What I love about accounting software and why I reckon everyone should get it. One click and you can run a report. Where exactly am I at in the business? How's my profit and loss going? How's my, you know, overdue invoices? Do I have clients still owing me money? There's even functions that will remind you that clients haven't paid on time. Excel spreadsheet, it takes a lot of formulas to get that to work. So it's great for cash flow, it's great for reporting, and at the end of tax time, I just email my accountant his logins and he does it all from there. So heaps and heaps easier and stress-free. Um, so they're the three tips for today, guys. So number one is get it off your to-do list ASAP so you're not stressing about it. Two is get on top of your bookkeeping regularly. If you can't do it, outsource it to someone else. And number three is uh, get accounting software. Even if it's a free wave version, that is heaps better than using something like Excel or paper version. It runs your reports, it automates a lot of the systems and cuts down a lot of your time and stress. So that's all for today, guys. Head over to the business classroom and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.